No college today? No. I hear Leanne's back at the Battersby's. She just stayed over with Toya last night. It's no big deal. I'm not here to gloat, Nick. What's the problem? It's our business. Yes, of course it is. I'm sorry. Is it serious? She wants a divorce. So it's true. Toya told me. Oh, Nick. Don't! What? Don't stand there and pretend you're sorry. I bet you've been praying for this all along. I bet you can't wait to get back and start celebrating with Martin, so, so don't let me keep you. Nick, I... Just get out, Mum, all right? Yeah, well, it'll get on my nerves. Oh, split up for me, real man, five minutes and you're already sounding like an old widow. Just shut it, will you? No, you shut up. The sooner you pay, kiss the makeup, the sooner I can get my room back to myself again. Hey, have a bit of sympathy for your sister. The world's got to stop just because she's had a row with Nick. I'll tell you what's not fair. I've been to listen to you lot on my day off. Have you seen it out there? Beautiful weather. Almost worth going to work just to have the day off. Oh, Don't work too hard. This is what you're planning to do all day, is it? Watch daytime telly. Expanding my mind, love. Some of these American chat shows are very educational. Do you know, there had a bloke on here the other day. He reckoned he was abducted by olive-skinned aliens and made to impregnate two dozen of them. We never know your look. Maybe they'll beam you up as you push your trolley round Furman's. Oh. Hey, I'll never carry this lot. Well, you'll just have to take car then, won't you? Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Thanks for letting me in. Just say your piece, Des. I've got things to do. The thing is, I've been thinking what you reckon about this baby being mine. I don't reckon it's yours. It is yours. Well, you don't have to go through with the abortion, then. What? I'm not going to run away from my responsibilities, Sam. God knows I've wanted a kid for long enough. Maybe this is not the way I wanted it, but it's not the kid's fault, is it? What are you saying, Des? Whatever's gone on between me and you, Sam, I'll still love the baby. I'll help with the money and, well, I'll always be here for it. You mean you'll be over the road, living the Des Barnes bachelor life? Posting a cheque through the letterbox once a month and taking the kid out for a walk every Sunday will forget it. It wouldn't be like that. Oh, too right. I'm not giving it the chance. Hey, Les. I hope you haven't gone back to bed. I want them groceries in that kitchen when I get back from work or there'll be trouble. Les, what are you up to? No, I've not gone back to bed. I thought I'd make the most of me day off. Cleared all the junk out the loft. Thought I could put it in the skips on me way to the shops. You what? Since when have you started clearing out out? Set my purse. Oh, that's gratitude for you, that is. Are you trying to sneak someone out of this house? Don't talk so. Hey, man. you've been holding on to some knocked off gear for someone. I'm having a look at that. Hold me back! Oh, I'll pull the other one. I know what boat I got off. I'm having a look at this. There, we'll have it. You see what you're flaming well done? Yeah, yeah. Well? There's no in there. There, are you satisfied now? Oh, Les, I'm sorry. Are you all right? No, I'm flaming well not. My flaming back's gone. And it's all your fault, Janice. Janice, why can't you just trust me for once? Oh, look, I'm sorry. I'll ring the doctor. No. You get off, I'll ring him myself later. Go on, you get back to work. I'll be all right. Don't worry about me. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I'll be back at dinner time. Oh. Look, just take it easy. I'll, I'll make it up to you, though. I, I promise. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Oh, thanks, Gary. No problem. Cheers, mate. No problem at all, boss. Anything you want, just give us a shout. Apart from bed bath, that is. <laughs> Right, well, you know where I am. I'll see you. See you later. Right, well, <laughs> this is it then. Hey, I bet I can't wait to get out of that hospital. But it brings it home to you, this, doesn't it? This being in here. Yeah, you, uh, 
Well, they were never the world's best patient, even if you just had flu. God knows what this is going to be like. Well, you're not going to have to cope on your own, are you, Mum? I mean, I'm going to do everything I can. Yeah, I know. Well, I better go and get him then, before he starts herring down Coronation Street in his wheelchair. <laughs> Just leave it. All right. You look terrible. I don't feel so well. Have you been drinking? I've had one or two last night, yeah, and then I've kept down here. And just get on with it, will you? You haven't said a word since we got back. You all right? Real, I'm never going to see her again. Yeah. They didn't expect her to survive that stroke she had last year, did they? I suppose she had a bit of extra time. It's my mum's life, not a cup final. Sorry. I didn't mean it like that. No, I'm sorry. It's just I'm not, you know. Anyway, we've got to be practical, so. There's the house for a start. What do you mean? Can't leave it standing empty like that. Anything could happen to it. I think we should put it on the market. Liam! Don't get your helps up. I've only come back for my stuff. How are you doing? I'm fine. We've been invited to Martin's birthday party, you and me. I didn't know what to say. It's not to stop you going, is there? So how come you're not at college? Oh, I, I couldn't face it. Oh, Nick. Come talk some sense into him, have you? What do you mean? Him? Waiting for that Wakely bloke to turn up. You what? Liam, please just listen to me. No, I won't listen to you, Nick. I listened to you when you talked me into all this madness. I listened to you when you asked me to marry and I wish I never had. Well, Liam! You're obsessed! Oh, come on! Just don't come near me! I'm going upstairs to get me stuff and then I'm out of here for good. Thanks for coming over. I needed someone to talk to her. I reckon my head would explode. You've talked to her then? I told her I'd be there for her and the kid. Did everything but get down on my knees and beg her not to have an abortion. She didn't want to know. She just threw it back in my face. Oh, I think I've really blown it this time, Nat. There's nothing I ever wanted more than a kid of my own, but now look what's happened. I feel like I'm getting robbed with a shotgun in my face. Oh, I'm sorry, Des. I know how you must feel, but... It's her choice. That's what she said. Don't I have a say in this? Well, you can't make her have a baby if she doesn't want to. Well, then what am I going to do, Nat? It's driving me around the bend. Hi, Dad. Hi. Well, there's a sight I didn't think I'd ever see again. About time. I've just given up on you. <laughs> it's harder getting out of that hospital than it is getting out of jail, let me tell you. All right, Jim. It's good to have you back, mate. Oh, I wish it felt good. All right, Jim. Hello, Kev. Listen, boys, I, I really appreciate the, the welcoming committee, but I'd sooner get in quiet. All right, Jim, need a hand? No, I'm all right, Ken. Oh, sorry, thanks no, for coming. No, thanks, Ken. I think we no, can manage, actually. No, 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 come on, Jim. No, let's get here. Get the speech, Jim. Come on, 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 Listen, Sam, um, Des told me about the abortion. <laughs> yeah, like it's any of your business. Well, I can understand how upset you feel. I mean, it can't be easy making a decision like that. <sighs> Spare me the performance, for God's sake. You what? You must think I'm stupid or something. The last thing you want is some kid of his and mine getting in the way. 
Well, don't worry, because it won't be around to bother you. Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on, Natalie. You're in love with him. <laughs> well, be an overreaction or something. I don't think so, Martin. He said she wanted a divorce, and he was serious. He's devastated. Well, that's what you wanted, isn't it? I didn't want him hurt, Martin. No. Hey, brother. That lad of yours was a good seeing suit. You what? How all the hands in a right state over at our place. All because she thought that good for nothing Nick loved her. Hang on a minute. Have you any idea what's going on? Well, you'd have to be a brain surgeon, do you? Mm. You haven't a clue, have you? Which is the same as us, so you keep your dirty, smutty little ideas to yourself and we'll all be a lot better off. Including Nick and Liam. So? I hope you haven't invited half the street to this wake. It's a handful of mates. And I wish you'd stop calling it a wake. I don't know what else to call it. A load of people come around and tell you how sorry they are it's a wake. Well, look, Jim, I can cancel it if you want. I mean, I'll just say you're a bit tired or under the weather. Under the weather? Hmm. <laughs> Stuck on a wheelbarrow with a pair of legs that don't work. Under the weather. It's just about dead on, really, isn't it? I'm sorry. It's hard for me as well, you know. Yeah, I'm sure it is. What do you want me to do? Oh, let them in. What do you think you're playing at? What's it look like? I've been up to my eyes out there while you're knocking back the booze in here. What the hell's going on? I need to talk, Judy. We need to talk. What about? About what do you think? About that night. About that night. No! Where... Look, as far as I'm concerned, it never happened. It happened! All right? And I can't get it out of my head. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to try. It shouldn't have happened. I was desperate for cash, that's all. Desperate? That's right, like I am now. Get off! I'm going home. You sort yourself out, for God's sake! So what they're saying, Jim, lad, about well, you getting back on your feet? Mm. <clears throat> well, it would appear the best they can come up with is that I should take it day by day, which, frankly, is no use to me. Job will still be waiting for you across the road at the garage. Well, I appreciate that. But I can hardly see me coming to grips with an engine when I'm in a wheelchair. Can you? Because I can't. Oh, come on, Jimmy, you're a fighter. You'll soon be out of that thing. Yeah, of course oh, you will. Of course you will. I'll be Stephen. You want to let him in? Oh, yeah, right. Excuse me. Jago, give us a whack of that whiskey. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That I don't Jim, give a damn what I'm supposed to do or what I'm not supposed to do. It's all I've got. <sighs> Lads. Hi. Uh, sorry, Dad. Uh, Audrey's looking after Morgan. He started playing up, so... Well, you're here now. Hello, Fee. Jim, how are you doing? I'm all right. Uh, what do you think of the wheels? Uh, Fee, can I get you a glass of wine? It's through here in the kitchen. Yeah. Dad, do you know what the doctor said about that? I don't give a damn what the doctors say, Stephen. Well, you're going to have to start listening to him. You're going to get out of that chair. And you'd know about that, Gary, would you, eh? You'd know all about that, yes? Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. Actually, I'm not fine. I need to go to the toilet. See? Right. That's how good it gets, boys. I have to get my wife. I have to get my ex-wife to go and get a potty for me so I can go to the toilet. So I think you've all seen enough. I'd be very grateful if you left me in peace. The freak show is over. Yeah, come on, us. Yeah. 
Greg, lad, come and buy your dad a drink. Same again, please, Mum. Do you know, I'm surprised he can feel his legs. Never mind his bad back, the mountain he's had to drink. <laughs> oh, what have you done with your back? Won an Oscar, son. Won an Oscar. Yeah, I tell you, lads, it's a cruel thing he's facing. I mean, one, one day, you're top of the world, everything to live for. The next, cut down in your pride. I don't know, Jack. It's been one thing after another for Jim. Then one long downward spiral. Aye. Trouble is, from what I saw tonight, I don't think he's even at the bottom yet. Well, gives a pint, Jack, and well, I can't be a blessing. Right. No, I've had a dodgy bat for years, son. So Janice yeah. doesn't suspect a thing. Yeah, but the court's taking your licence off you for 18 months. You can't keep it up that long, can you? Well, that all depends on what the doctor says tomorrow, isn't it? I mean, bad backs are funny things, aren't they? I've made a study of them, you see. I won't be surprised if I could do everything within reason except drive. Hiya. Maxine. Hello, love. You didn't tell me you were going to meet me tonight? Probably didn't know. Do you want a drink? Yeah, I'll have a vodka and orange, please. So, are you all set for tonight, if you're in the place? What do you mean? I told you earlier. You and me. Hello. Look, I don't know, Maxine. Oh, look, you're that keen. Come on, it's not like that. You know I like you, Max. We're not shackled together, are we? No, but... So let's keep it fresh, eh? Well, keep the yeah. fires burning. Sounds nice. You're lovely. Tell so you what, how about if we throw a couple of logs on the fire tomorrow night? Okay. I've just been for a pint in the Rove as we get her. I don't think Jim was much up to partying. Oh? No. Is that you got there? It's a letter from my mum. Came last week. A couple of days before she died. Sally. She wanted to know when I was bringing the kids up to see her again. She said it had been ages since she'd seen them. Or me. You wasn't to know, sir. Hey, it wasn't your fault. She was my mum, Kev. time I'd spent any real time with her, eh? When was that? When you ran off with Natalie. I've got something to remember her by, isn't it? That and a letter begging to see her grandchildren. Come on, Sam. Come to bed. You're tired. What difference will that make? She'll still be dead in the morning, won't she? Sorry, Kev. You go off. I just want to... I just want to be on my own. So your light was still on. Just thought I'd stop by. Thanks. So, what's the latest? Been turning it round in my head all day. Not been able to do anything else. Well, did it get you anywhere? I think so. The thing is, Samantha reckons I'm going to be some sort of part-time dad or something, living across the street without any real commitment. But I used to love her, didn't I? I worshipped her. If we could make a go of it again. What, you mean marry her? Marry her, if that's what she wants. Live with her. Doesn't really matter. As long as we're together, the three of us. What do you think? I don't know, Des. Maybe I'm not the right person to ask. But you know her, Natalie. Who else can I ask? Not me. Not this. What's wrong? Oh, I don't know, Des. Just something she said to me today. Something that hit me like a bullet. What? I can't tell you what to do about Samantha. The truth is, I don't want to share you with anybody, let alone a kid. I love you, Des. I'm sorry about that. A party wasn't the best idea in the world. No, always up. It's me who should be apologising. Don't be silly. Don't molly coddle me. 
I was out of order. You remember him? You always look good in dress uniform. After all I've been through in the army, finish up like this. Drunk on a building site, falling off scaffolding, eh? Don't tell her that. Nothing's finished. Isn't it? I wonder what he'd make of me. Legless, washed up, no hope, that's what. There's a long way to go yet. Is it worth it? I don't want to hear this. I'm tired. I need to go to bed. Come on. Yeah. How do we do this? Those belong to you. Right. OK, tell me when. No. All right. Donna needs all the nursing skills she's got in My Wonderful Life, next. Coronation Street is sponsored by Cadbury's Marble. <laughs> 